what's good john she boy ross back in again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 accidental three count wwe fails i've seen some of these three count fails where it definitely the it pinning situation wasn't supposed to end like that and it ended up ending they end up botching the match and they have to kind of go with that storyline someone would ends up winning that wasn't supposed to win or it wasn't clear who actually won so we definitely got to check this out i've seen a few of these actually live so uh this should be interesting but i uh, appreciate all the love and support road to 50k and uh let's do the damn thing is that enough here did he get him no. what? did he get him yeah wait a minute I remember watching Have that. Have you ever wondered what happens if a referee Live. ever counts to three in a match when they weren't supposed to? Well, WWE's attitude to this has changed over the years, as at one point the referee had to count to three when and only it was the planned finish of the match. However, in recent years, there's been an extended focus on the referee calling the matches as if the match was real, meaning that if mm. the wrestler doesn't get their shoulder up by the time the referee counts to three, they're encouraged to call for the bell. Oh, Additionally, wow. there have been a few occasions where the referee has accidentally counted to three, and everyone in the match, including the ref, simply pretended it wasn't a three count. Also, doing a three count when it wasn't supposed to has had dire consequences for a referee. Wow. But which times were they? Friday, the count, oh yeah. Whoa, the official blew the call. So it looks like I'm Friday. Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 accidental three counts in WWE history. This should be good, man. I'm interested in this video for sure. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook to for exclusive lists. Make great content. Oh, I think he was going for oh, the landslide, and it's truth, truth of the cover. Oh, what? Oh, wait, wait, huh? what? Wait a minute. He got him. Truth, truth, the champion. Truth didn't even realize he won. Number 10, Survivor Series 1996. Now, the free-for-all which took place prior to the 96 oh, Survivor Series <laughs> pay-per-view was supposed to be the start of a substantial push for JBL, who was going under the name of Justin Hawk Bradshaw at the time. JBL. Bradshaw was actually supposed to be a surviving member of the winning team in the match, but unfortunately, a botched three count led him to being eliminated eight minutes into the match by Jesse James, aka the Road Dog. Roll up. Oh man. And taken to Facebook, JBL offered some insight into what really happened during the match. He stated, My first Survivor Series, my team was to go over, and it was to be my first big push. It was one of the first times refs used earpieces, or at least different earpieces. So I do a false finish, and Tim White counts me out. I had kicked out on two, but Tim was listening to someone in his ear and wasn't paying attention. He looked up and said, Oh my god, kid, I'm so sorry. But then I had to pantomime he was sending me out of the ring. I got to the back, and I was chewed out. I couldn't stooge Tim, so I just took it. Later, they realized Tim made a mistake and told me that they were sorry. It was my pal Gerald Briscoe that had chewed me out as he ran Gorilla back then. My push was killed, and pretty much so was Justin Hawk Bradshaw. Damn. Or maybe it was for the better, even if we did get the much failed new Blackjacks tag team. It didn't exactly hurt him later on. Number nine, Emma accidentally wins a match in I NXT. Remember, I remember Prior this to one NXT too. TakeOver Brooklyn, WWE would tape a fatal four way between Emma, Dana Brooke, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch. Things were going well in the match before Emma hit Becky with her signature maneuver, the Emma Sandwich. What a name. Emma yeah, went for a cover and managed to secure the 1-2-3. Now, this finish came out of nowhere and appeared as if the referee had accidentally counted the three. It was later reported online that Emma wasn't supposed to win the match, which explains the confusion on everyone's face following Emma securing the victory. <laughs> you can even hear the referee inform Emma, be happy you won. Number eight, Mickey James accidentally <laughs> wow. wins the women's title. Damn. Our live events have the benefit of not being recorded for television, uh -huh. meaning that if something goes wrong, it's usually only the people in attendance that were oh! folded. But I don't think you're Ray. <laughs> he definitely didn't hit that. He just <laughs> flew out the ring. <laughs> live event in 2007, oh a WWE God. referee accidentally counted a three, resulting in a huge title change. In a match between Melina, Victoria, and Mickey James for the women's title, the referee accidentally counted a three after a pin attempt from Mickey, which actually resulted in Mickey winning the women's oh, title. Wow. Interestingly, as this was a live event, WWE could have pretended it never happened and it was mm -hmm. just a mistake. However, they went along with it and officially acknowledged the title change. Wow. Later in the show, WWE would book a match between Mickey and Melina, where Melina would 
would win the title back. Oh. But nevertheless, seeing a title change result from an error from a referee is extremely rare. Discussing the incident on the Ring the Bella podcast, Mickey would reveal, Oh, what happened in Paris? I don't know if I should speak because I'm like, there was three parts, four parts of this match, you know, including the referee. Five, if we could get the steamboat. It was obviously a triple threat match and Melina was the champion and um, Lisa was out there. I made the cover and, you know, the three count happened. It was like the the championship not heard around the world. Uh. It is in history books because I demanded it. Number seven, Damn. Teddy Long simply doesn't want to hear it. The Attitude Era crowd were brutal, meaning that yeah. any botches on the part of wrestlers or referees, the crowd would let him have it. Yep. A great example of this took place this at the 1999 true. Royal Rumble pay-per-view. As in a match between X-Pac and Gangrel for the European Championship, Gangrel would roll through a cross-body attempt from X-Pac. Gangrel used to scare me because I think he was part of the brood or whatever as a kid. With the fangs and shit, she used to scare the fuck. He used to scare the hell out of me. Not gonna lie to you. Free Teddy Long actually accidentally counted to three. I forgot Teddy Long was a ref back then. This wasn't the planned finish of the match, so Teddy and the two superstars simply pretended it never happened. Although the crowd didn't let him forget this, and they erupted with the UF'd up chant. Well, he didn't, obviously. And X Pac's still the champ. And now he tries to battle back. <laughs> you can actually see Teddy take his earpiece out after he messed up, as he was clearly being yelled at by Vince McMahon. <laughs> Teddy clearly simply didn't want to hear it. Number six, men on a mission win the I can tag see that. titles. Jacques and Pierre, collectively known as the Quebecers, were an extremely. I can see Vince going, "You stupid son of a bitch! What are you doing, Teddy? Though? I can't. <laughs> I can see that." <laughs> tag team in the WWE during oh, the mid-90s. They would win the tag titles a total of three times, however one of those reigns was never planned, and they would be forced to win them after an accidental title change at a live event in 94. The match would be the Quebecers facing off against Mabel and Moe, who were known as Men on a Mission. During the match, Mabel fell on Pierre for a pin attempt, and Pierre couldn't kick out because of how heavy Mabel was. The referee was forced <laughs> to count to three and award the win and the titles to wow. Men on a Mission. This title change was never planned, and it forced the WWE WWE to book a rematch between the two teams two days later, where the Quebecers would regain the titles they never should have lost. Damn. Number 5, CM Punk wins with his top rope elbow drop. Now CM Punk's tribute elbow drop from the Macho Man mm -hmm. never put anyone down for the 1-2-3, yeah. that was until January of 2012. CM Punk would face Jack Swagger in a match on Raw that was designed to build towards Punk's title defense against Dolph Ziggler at the Royal Rumble. But instead of leaving fans wanting to see Punk vs Ziggler, it left fans scratching their heads. Halfway through the match, Punk went for his top rope elbow drop and it somehow secured the victory as the referee counted to three. What? Punk was obviously furious and you could actually see him arguing with the referee after the match in relation to what had just occurred. Number 4 Edge wins wow. the IC title. When Edge won his first singles title in the summer of 1999, mm -hmm. there were rumours at the time that Edge simply got the win because the live event he won the match at took place in Canada. However, it was believed that Edge won the Intercontinental Championship from Jeff Jarrett thanks to the referee accidentally counting to three. This is supported by the fact that Edge claims that he was absolutely stunned when he was given the championship by the referee, implying that Edge had no idea it was going to happen. Additionally, Edge would drop the championship the next night back to Jarrett, making it almost certain the referee messed up. Mm. Number 3, Daniel Bryan wins. In 2011, a six-man tag took place on SmackDown between Daniel Bryan, Ezekiel Jackson and Sin Cara taking on the team of Cody Rhodes, Ted DiBiase Jr and Wade Barrett. However, the finish of the match was a complete botch thanks to the referee accidentally counting to three, and the mistake was so severe that Cody Rhodes has even publicly called it the worst match he's ever had. Damn. In the match, Brian would go for a corner dropkick on DBRC and would actually get the 1-2-3 as the referee counted the pin, but this was in the planned finish. All six men looked absolutely stunned and confused, yeah, you can tell. they had no idea what had actually tell. happened. Like, what the, hell the referee is going even on? had to order Brian's teammates in the ring to celebrate to make it look as legitimate as possible. It oh was... man. Man, I, if you guys remember, Capital Punishment was that year. You could see it was on the on the, the ramp. Capital Punishment was one of the worst pay per views of all time. They had a fake Barack Obama there. I I I couldn't do it. I I couldn't do it, bro. That that pay per view gimmick was trash. Oh my god. 
truly a disaster. Number 2 Kevin Owens wins the US title Now a mistake mm. at 2017's Battleground pay-per-view resulted in Kevin Owens winning the US title. In a match between Owens and AJ Styles, AJ applied the crossface to Owens, Owens would roll through and AJ's shoulders were down which forced the referee to count to 3. This wasn't the planned finish to the match mm. and the finish was actually supposed to be AJ retaining. This forced WWE to change their plans for the US title. They would book Owens to defend the title against AJ and a returning Chris Jericho on the next edition of SmackDown and AJ would win the match and once again become US champion. And number one, a referee gets fired. Oh, the match shit. between The Miz and John Morrison facing off against Matt Hardy and Mark Henry in the summer of 2008 would become infamous for one main reason. That reason was that the referee accidentally counted to three when it wasn't the planned finish to the match. Vince McMahon was so irate with the mistake that he fired the referee on the spot. Damn. But what exactly happened? Well, Hardy went for a side effect and it secured the victory as the referee Wes Adams counted to three, although Morrison actually kicked out. It was believed that Miz was supposed to break up the pin attempt and when Miz missed his cue, Adams got confused and decided to count to three. A referee being fired for a three Damn. count is extremely rare, so to see this occur in 2008 came as a massive Damn, surprise that's... to everyone. There Vince were many who like, believed nah. it wasn't Adams' fault and he shouldn't have been fired for the incident. However, it was ultimately Vince's call who decided that Adams' error was simply too big to ignore. But there you have it, folks. Wow. Ten. Vince was like, nah, you're fired. <laughs> that's, that's cold, man. But hey, the referee's job is it's, it's very important, man. It's very important to make sure the, those three counts go as planned. Because if they don't, they have to call an audible. They usually have to call an audible if the three count don't don't go right because they can't restart the match. It's just we live in that time period now where people are going to be all over that. People are going to be looking at the footage over and over and over and over and over to see what really went on. So, hey, man, the referee job is very important and sometimes it can be uh, very difficult, you know. So, hey. This was an interesting video. I think this was pretty cool. So comment down below. Let me know any other wrestling vids you guys want me to check out. I will definitely check it out for you guys. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 50K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.